Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity shader tutorial. In this one I'm going to be covering how to do an outline shader for 2D sprites and I will do a really quick uh, thing to show you how to do it for a cube as well, though this isn't the way you should probably do it because uh, you can, th th this isn't the normal way you do a 3D outline shader. Think of like uh, Borderlands or any cartoony 3D game. Um, that outline shader is a bit more complicated than making a 2D sprite shader like I've done here. So I'll do a separate video for that when I've figured out how to do it in Shader Graph for uh, um, 3D objects. But for this video, I'll show you how to do it for the 2D sprite. So as you see, as it's animating, the outline, which wasn't originally there, if you actually turn this off, you can see this is it originally. Um, and then if I do this, then we see we've got an outline which perfectly maps the, uh, matches the thing. Now, in reality, the best way to do an outline on a sprite would be to actually put the outline on the sprite when you uh, import it, like make sure the sprite sheet has outlines if you want it. But the benefit to doing the shader is that um, you can actually like, you know, change it in runtime, like you can change the, uh, the color and whatever. And in this case, how it works is it basically just gets the outermost pixel at every frame and then makes that the color. Um, it, as you can see on an animation, it's a little bit buggy at times, like on her shoes, for example, it looks a bit weird, but no, it's basically right. And obviously, yeah, you can change that to be any color you want, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to show you how to make this in this video. So let's get into it. Now, as always, I should probably delete the uh, material and the outline shader. Sorry. Okay, let's go make a new material. Um, Outline mat. Let's go put that on Ellen. And then go make a shader for it. So we'll call it a uh, 2D outline. And then we'll put that onto the material. And we'll open it up. And here we go. So the things we want in this, let's not make it quite full screen. So the things we want in this is we want a sprite sheet to take in. So sprite sheet. We want the outline uh, thickness. Though this is actually only zero or one. If it's zero, it means there's no outline. If it's one, there is an outline. You can't actually go in between in this and you'll see why. My, my way of doing it probably isn't the best way. This is just the way I figured out how to do it and you know it works if anyone's got a better suggestion obviously feel free to leave it uh, how to make a better thing in this because obviously I want to learn as well but if you gave me the task uh, this is what I would come up with and it works obviously it's just not perfect but you know it's quite hard to be perfect with a new piece of software as soon as it comes out um, so let's leave the default let's just leave that one so there is a an actual thing and then we also want to take in a color for the outline so outline color and I'll set that to a nice blue. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is, and I've done I've done this before, is we want to sort out the sprite sheet. So take in the sprite sheet. We want a sprite sample subgraph so we can sort it out. So oops, I should probably also pass in the sprite sheet here. There we go. Okay, so now there's two outputs here and if you don't remember what they are if you double click on it it takes you to the um where it should take you it's just not loading but anyway it takes you to the insides of this basically and the outputs it doesn't tell you on here but one's an albedo and one is the like alpha clip part i think i think that's what the two output is because uh obviously it's not helpful if i can't actually see i wonder if it has a documentation on this I wonder no it, it just says it's a subgraph which it is anyway so we got to remember the albedo is this that, that's just the you know plain thing now we want to change we want to turn off smoothness probably we don't want them to be shiny unless you do but obviously it's up to you and we also want to change the to, uh, we want to change the alpha to 0.5 which you'll see why that that matters uh, when we actually do the alpha clip like watch this so if I put this to the alpha clip boom now we've got our people so I, if I put that value up basically 
it has to be less than one. That's that's the only rule really. It has to be less than one. So if I put it to like point nine 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 nine, and then saved it, we just need to give her the sprite sheet now. You see, if I put it too close to the value, it misses. It adds some pixels that it should cut out. So it's actually better to go for a value further down to like point six. As you see, you get a smoother, smoother um, cut of the messed up texture here, because obviously it reads sprite sheets as an actual material for three D object. You just have to tell it basically that it's not. Um, now, obviously, we've got we've got the sprite, the sprite sheet, and if I press play, press to play, the animation will work. But we want to add a cool outline to it. So, first of all, what we need is we need to take in the thickness of the outline, which is basically just telling us whether it's whether it'll be on or not. Um, and then we'll say uh, we need a step. Sorry, step. The reason we need a step is so that we can uh, cut out the edges of the sprite sheet. So if I move across here. If I bring down this, we're going to use this in three places. So if I bring this into the edge and the thickness into here, um, ooh, is that because the outline thickness is one? If I put it point one two three, yeah. For some reason in here, it shows up wrong if you don't put it. If you put it as one in the actual thing, it works fine. Um, now what this is is basically the this. The you know it's it's this, but the white bits are the actual Ellens, um, and then what we do is we do it we do it again. We'll take the exact same thing into the edge. Now the the difference between these two, if you can't tell by looking with your plate and eye, is that the bottom one is slightly thicker than the top one, like literally like one pixel all the way around, or maybe a little bit more than one pixel. But it's as very as thin as thin. Sorry, I can't speak. It's as thin as it goes. Um, so what it means is that if we change the difference, then we'll get the outline. So if we do a subtract, oops, not a subgraph, a subtract. If we take the, ooh, we've got it the wrong way around, but we just swap these. If we take that away from that, as you see, because this has a tiny little bit more around the edges than this, if we take this away, we actually get the outline. So as you see here now, we have a really nice outline of the actual um, sprite sheet. And then, if you hadn't already guessed, we want to we want to be able to color it. So let's multiply. I'll do it down here. Outline color by this. So now the outline color is what we want. And if we put that into a mission. And then save. Ooh, now on here we get our really nice looking Ellen with the outline, which we can actually change when. Oh. There we go. Uh, I think this is actually yeah the the weird little visual bits I was getting earlier don't seem to be happening. Or they do every so often. It's very rare. It's just a little bit to do with the um, alpha. But as you see, it works absolutely fine, and we're allowed to change uh, the color. Yay! So now we can change that to be whatever we want. You could use this to indicate team, like color. You could have if two people are the same people, the same character. You could put one as one color outline, one as a different, and you'll be able to show the team differences or whatever. You can do whatever you want. Um, now. Because this video is pretty short, because it's quite a simple shader, I'll put it back up on the screen. Uh, so what we do is we take in the texture for the sprite sheet, but it has to go through this node just to make sure the shader graph knows to handle it as a sprite sheet, not a normal 3D material. Um, obviously, we put the main albedo in, which is just the Ellen, like what she looks like, and then we output the alpha clip to here so it knows where to kind of cookie cut it out. Obviously, you know what cookie cutters are, where you put it onto dough and you get out the shape of a cookie. It's basically what this is of a sprite sheet, to be honest. It cuts out all the different sprites onto a material, um, and then here we take the um, we take the sprite, and then with this one we take it with a little bit more, and then we subtract. So we get the difference. This is the difference. We give the difference a color, 
which is the outline, the outline color, and then boom, now we've got our cool looking sprite. And it's a pretty cool effect, it's quite simple, um, but it's very useful, so I hope I hope this helps. Um, now, I'm going to quickly show how I did it for this cube, even though it's really only going to work for this for a cube. Like, watch this, if I, if I stretch it, I, yeah, it's going to go a bit odd. It still works, kind of, but the more you stretch it, the more the outlines... You know what, actually, it doesn't even look that bad if I stretch it and I scale it and then I stretch it in this one direction. It just means that this edge here is going to look thicker than the rest. But you know, it, it kind of looks all right. So if you want to, if you want a really quick cube one, then I'll show you how to do it. Uh, but please don't use this in um, like other shapes, because you'll see if I create a sphere, and I scale it up, and I go give it the um, these folders are all messy. I'm in the wrong folders for things. Look, this uh, sphere doesn't really. It has a line down the side of it. It just doesn't seem to work. I know why it doesn't work. It's because I've made the actual um, shader for a cube. So that's why. I'll show you it quickly. Uh, 3D outline. So all I did was we take... Well, watch this. I'll just get rid of this for now. Um, we take in a rectangle. It's just a, it's just a node rectangle. And that's why it only works for um, cubes. So if I change this to a cube... Um, if we take this rectangle and put it to a 1 minus, because remember, um, the white is yes and the black is no, the white is 1, the black is 0. So that's actually quite a cool little rhyme there. <laughs> but um, the output of this white would mean that the glow happens everywhere but the corners, and we want it to happen only on the corners. So that means we 1 minus it, which inverses it. Um, what I've done here is I've put the width, as you see the width, I've put it to like 0.98, which is, well, I could do 0.99, it's a lot harder to see, but it basically means like the percentage of the um, shape that is, uh, obviously if I put 1, it'd be 100%, so it'd be completely covered, but because I've put 0.99, there's a tiny little edge to it, which is the outline. As you see here, it's the outline of the cube or the rectangle. Um, and then if we multiply it, by the color we input, we then get the outline of the color we want, we emission, we save, we go back, and as you see, this is what we've got here with a cube. And as we like scale it up and then go whoosh, 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 we now have a big cube with a red outline, but the thickness isn't very, um, you know, Good. If you actually want to extend this a little bit more, you can take in a vector to uh, thickness. You can put the values to like 0 0.8, 0 0.8, whatever you want. And then we put this into, oh, wait, it takes them in as two separate vector ones. Ah. Okay. That's just one way to do it then. There you go. Obviously, as we scale it lengthways, it doesn't look very good. If I put it 1, 1, 1, go back to the cube. Looks pretty cool. It's up to you whether this is the effect you want. I guess this shader could literally just... Well, it works for cubes, obviously. It's pretty cool. I like it. As you scale it, it looks a bit odd, but as long as the sizes are all even, you know. I think it's a cool effect, but anyway... If you've enjoyed this tutorial, we have a Discord server down in the description for you to join. And coming up uh, on the channel, I'm going to be starting a new series tomorrow, reviewing um, a game and then making tutorials on certain aspects of the game, like its combat system or its whatever system. Obviously, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm going to wait till tomorrow when I actually like do this video. Um, I'm also going to be doing, as suggested by someone in the Discord server, um, bi-weekly... Um, Wait, does bi-weekly mean once every two weeks or twice every week? But basically, every two weeks at the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, well, starting Friday night till Sunday night, um, I'm going to be doing, like, a, uh, a kind of game jam, you know, like Ludum Dari, but only for, like, our server. So it's going to be, like, low scale. Um, it's not going to be a strict... The voting process is going to be done by me and a few of my friends. Um... And we'll do that. You can go in the Discord and read what I've put about it in the announcements channel. Um, and that's going to be starting next weekend, which is 
the 16th and 17th and i'll do it every two weeks i think that's a good spread and it'll just be a case of people voting for a topic and then they find out and then they make the game they have two days to do it they publish it and then we vote and i'll do a video reviewing the top three games that we voted on you know show it saying the winner whatever and i feel like it's a good thing to get into it also is pretty good for the uh, community in general um but yeah if you want to take part in stuff like that that's also another reason to join as well as just the general discussion um obviously subscribing language channel would mean a lot I'm so close to the 300 goal so close it's not really a milestone but hey i mean only a few off so please um but anyway yeah uh, any questions on this then feel free to leave a comment but apart from that if you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and goodbye